Siendo Orbea, pionera de ella. World Class Aerobike. Perico Delgado, pues seguimos, es la, la vuelta a España, ¿no? Bueno, ni guste, bueno, Orbea en historia, e, Orbea da marca bat, va a irse de reunirte, eta Orbea, e, así san, e, arma que iten, eta un bicicleta que tiene que ir. Baita ere, Orbea san, e, family baten e, empresa esta, eta gero bertan vera egin, eta bueno, langilea cartu, eta cooperativa biurtu sana esta, o indala, berroita maos baturte gutxi gora vera esta. As a cooperative, it's in our DNA to 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 have an impact we say that uh, we are here to transform we also have a huge impact in in the communities around ourselves such as uh, investing in uh, respecting cleaning and maintaining trails all around the world so we have some other projects uh, with non-profit oriented companies such as unicef uh, we are doing it because we believe in it <laughs> Orbea empresa que mande es que tienen valor a transmitir sea es chirrindo la ley está quiero ver ahí es por el campo han verde en transmitir sea renes está bueno quiero el burro de tisanda compromiso a sacrificio a está ya por el betes que yo causa va a cargar te hacen día. I think there's always been loads of Basque riders working really really hard and showing up on the world stage throughout the years not only with Orbea or Euskaltel Euskadi, but uh, throughout the history of major uh, Grand Tours, you can see Basques popping up all over the place. There's, there's no easy road here. You can maybe find 5K flat during your ride, but you're gonna get a thousand meters of altitude wherever you go. Basque means to be proud of our culture and our territory. And uh, why not to show to the world that such a small country has that uh, proud people uh, of their identity. <laughs> okay, whenever you're ready. Thank you. Lotto has sponsored the pro cycling team now for about 40 years, which means that Lotto is uh, the sponsor with the longest in cycling of all sponsors. If you can tell maybe your grandparents, like I work for the Lotto team and I would say the team in Belgium. When I grew up uh, watching cycling, Lotto was already there as a team. And I always ad admired them and eh? they had some great riders. And now so many years later to work on the team with so much history, it's a, it's a privilege. Eh? I grew up watching André Greipel win stages. So of course, I was already older then, but yeah, I remember hearing Van den Broek. A very vivid memory of like Tony Galopin. I knew what what the heritage of uh, Lotto Destiny was. We really changed the view of the people to the team. In the last years we are really developing, making some changes and the results are already coming. The new wind in the team is positive for riders, for staff, but also from people outside. I really feel it now uh, when I ride on the road. People uh, are just cheering for you in the races. Well, of course, with, uh, with Arnold Lee, we can almost say he's already uh, world top or he's really close to that. When I saw our squad, I was like, okay, with this group, you can go to the war. It's nice that to see that the team wants to develop young Belgian riders. Also, like a Belgian team knows everything about cycling, you know, like Belgium is cycling, so. I'm very happy to be Belgian. Even I'm long and even the province of Luxembourg. There are other teams that have come, but as I said, we were also fans of Lotto. C'était un choix, un choix du cœur et, euh, et maintenant c'est devenu un choix de raison aussi parce que franchement, 
me sens vraiment bien ici. Belgium is really having uh, something with cycling. It's it's in in the people that it's living, um, also in the daily work. Uh, they go a lot by bike to work, but also when when the classic season starts, uh, the Flemish Spring Classics, uh, afterwards the Walloon Classics. It, it's it's really living among the people. It starts early on. You have a lot of uh, Kermis races in Belgium. When I was young, you could do every weekend, uh, like you could go to 20 races. So it's a it, it's a big culture. It's uh, the second largest sport in Belgium, so everybody knows a cyclist in his family, or you are one. I think the relationships between the, the bike brand uh, Orbea and Lotto Destiny, I think is pretty clear. Um, we wanted very good bikes, we have it with Orbea, but of, at the other end, Orbea wants feedback from our riders to even improve their product, so I think we are on the right way there. I think that the background of Orbea in top-level competition has come from the very beginning coming from 1931 and already in that catalog it was mentioned that uh, the bikes that we were presenting in that catalog were used by the main uh, riders uh, in that time, Mariano Cañardo and so on. Those riders were so important and even won the first uh, Vuelta of Spain. We have always been challenging, bigger projects sometimes, stronger riders sometimes. We have never lost uh, the essence of uh, racing in the maximum level. The vast territory, uh, the way we are racing here, climbs, descends, rain. There are, there are some similarities with the Belgian uh, cycling style, even being that uh, different territory, especially in the cobblestones area in the north of, of Belgium, in Flanders. The biggest similarities as are the, the passion uh, of the cyclists and the culture on, the, on both the countries. I'm, I'm proud to see when I'm looking in one race that there is always one uh, uh, Flanders lion flag and one Ikurriña there. Oh, Orvea has always a politic of, of equity, so we are so proud to be represented in the Pro Peloton uh, by three teams now. Uh, one is a World Tour, then Lotto and, and another Pro Conti. So we always fight a lot to, to push a lot for the women's sport and to represent women cycling in a way, just not from revenues or economic things, uh, but we want to support those athletes that uh, it's part from their lives and, and we want to be part of, of, of this growth of the women's sport. I think it's important to show that it's not only who's the biggest, the baddest, and who's got the best money, but who could be the best cyclist with the right amount of support. You have to show up before people have shown that they're worth showing up for. You have to support them because probably they do have the potential, but they just haven't had the support until that moment.